Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you my teeny tent box or bag. I don't really know which way it would be. Um, it's a super, super cute little tent bag. Um, in terms of this part, looks like a tent. <laughs> As you can see, it just slides on and off. Um, and it's just so cute. And it's the playful, playful pets, pampered pets. Um, super cute. So there's a little pussy cat on this one and the paper even says, you know, all the things for a cat. Um, snooze, yawn, paw, jump, love, meow. It's really cute. And then the, the, the dog version is dig, chase, scratch, wag. <laughs> I just think they're really cute. And I've got the little dog to go on this one too. But they're really cute, really tiny. You could put a little treat in for an animal. Um, or, you know, if you were going to someone's house and you had some treats for them, you could make a little treat to put in here for the dog or the cat. Um, I'm sure they would appreciate it. So let's go ahead and make it. To start off with, you will need a piece of cardstock that is six and a half by five. And on the long side, we're simply going to score at two and four and a half, which is five by eleven and a half. Sorry, the the cardstock itself is six and a half by five, which is sixteen and a half by twelve and a half centimeters. Then on the long side, we're going to score at two and four and a half, which is five and eleven and a half. And then on the short side, we're going to score at two and three, which is five and seven and a half centimeters. Keep hold of your scoring tool and grab yourself a ruler because on these long panels in the middle here we're going to just do some of our angles here just to make that a little bit smoother. So you need to mark halfway which on mine is half an inch in centimetres it's going to be one point Let's have a look, 1.2, 1.3 maybe. So sorry for it not being so easy for um, centimetres. And then we're just going to score that triangle in there. And then we're going to rotate and do exactly the same on the opposite side. So we're going to score in there and then that one. Okay, bone folder now just for those four score lines that we made at the start. Let's give those a nice score and then we need to do some cutting. So your four corners, your four squares in the corners, what you want to be doing is where your where you've scored your triangle, I don't know if you can see very well, where you've scored your triangle, you want to be cutting towards it along this edge, not alongside it. So towards the triangle that you've scored. And then we need to cut about two thirds of the way across. And then we're going to create our little tab. OK, so we're going to repeat that on all four corners. So down towards your triangle two thirds of the way across and then cut those wedges out. And again on the other side towards the triangle, two thirds and it doesn't matter if they're not straight, mine never are, <laughs> just never straight, towards the triangle, two thirds and then just cut those wedges off. Okay, get rid of my rubbish. And then the simplest part here is just adding your adhesive onto these tabs here. And all four of them, oh crumbs, come on. It's been used quite a lot today, so it's, uh, I think it's starting to get tired. And then we're just simply going to put these up onto that side part there. So just line those edges up and pop those together. And then the last 
one just tucks in just like so and then when you push these sides in because we've already scored they just go automatically anyway which is nice just makes it a bit neater so there's your little treat pouch ready and then you need your DSP and mine is two and a half by six which is six and a half by ten centimeters again mine has writing on so I need to make sure this is going to go the right way so what I've done is I've started with the with it upside down at the back on the base okay then I'm going to hold it with my fingers here so I know that it's straight and level or you can pop it on the desk pinch your gift box your bag together and then you want to fold your DSP over the top just give it a little press so that you know that's where your score line needs to be do exactly the same for the bottom and then back around on itself and then when you've got it on it'll be the right way for the writing okay so I'm just going to make sure these are level give them a burnish just so they're a bit crisper and this last one make sure it's level and then I'm just going to put some adhesive on that part pop it back on there tuck them round and as long as the sides are lined up that will fit on there and then your little bag can just slide in and out of its sleeve how cute now I just need to decorate it so I have the um, playful pets ribbon combo and I've just got the red one here so I'm just going to create a little bow a little bow look at the size of that crikey a little bow make sure they're even okay and then I'm just going to trim those tails slightly I might need to trim that a little more we'll see and then I'm just going to grab a glue dot and I'm just going to fold it in half because I don't need a full size glue dot and I'm putting that in the centre at the top for my bow to sit on there's my little bow and then I need a piece of scrap whisper white have my Pampered Pets stamp set and I'm just going for the Enjoy sentiment. Have my Real Red here and then just in this corner here I'm just going to stamp because I don't need a lot of cardstock or a lot of space and then just quickly give that a trim and like I said it's a small excuse me it's a small treat so I don't need any great big sentiments I do that actually so just give that a trim so there's my sentiment and then my red here my real red just a tiny bit of adhesive on there and again I'm just going to pop this into the corner just like so and then I'm going to actually cut I haven't done this for ages have I? I used to do it all the time I haven't done it so often recently it's probably because we have amazing punches and things <laughs> my bin's moved everything's gone on the floor now so I'm just going to pop couple of dimensionals on the back of there and then I'm actually going to die cut this little doggy out now he's actually out of the DSP which is amazing but what I like the most is that 
he actually fits the dies. So I'm just going to get my dies out here. And this one does work with the stamp. So he will work on the stamp, but he also works on the DSP. So I'm just going to pop him on there and then cut him out. Obviously, if you want to stamp and colour it to make it even more personal, that's fine. This is more of a quick, a quick one. Out of the way. And then here's my little dog, which again is going to have some dimensionals. as well just because it is only DSP and not cardstock and then we just stick him on stick my sentiment on and we're done oh he's going to be too big isn't he <laughs> let's tuck him under the bow as long as the bottom bit fits there we go he just looks like he's got a bow on his head that's all it's fine <laughs> And then my little sentiment, actually, I'm just going to pop there, I think, this time. And there we have it. Your cute little tent fold pet treat holder. <laughs> and obviously, as you can see, I've done the monochrome opposites on them. Thank you for joining me. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.